Hello, today I'll be reviewing the SEGT8 tripod head by Smooth Camera Gear. So why the SEGT8 when there's so many other new tripod heads on the market? Well, the SEGT8 looks exactly like a tripod head I already own and absolutely love, the E-Image GH06. Now the GH06 performs well above its weight. It's super smooth, has counterbalance, I use it on professional jobs when I have to use a smaller camera. And the build quality is also pretty decent. All of this for less than 600 bucks, which was unheard of about five years ago. So I sent SEG a message saying, what's going on with your T8? Why does it look like my tripod head and what could possibly be different? And they got back to me within an hour and they said that it performs better and has a better build quality than the GH06. And that's great news because the GH06 is constantly on back order because it's such a great performer. The only caveat is the T8 is $20 more, not a big deal. So they sent me one to review and that's what you're gonna hear over the next few minutes. So who is the T8 for? It's for someone looking for pro level performance under $600 for builds under 16 and a half pounds. So what cameras does that mean? Well, it means small cameras such as the FX3, GH, and SH series to larger cameras such as the Komodo, FX6, and the Canon C series. As a union camera operator, I'm responsible for creating compelling compositions, sticking complex moves, and being able to set it up all as fast as possible and execute in as few takes as possible. So when it comes to buying a tripod or renting one, my biggest considerations are the build quality, performance, and ease of use. The build of the T8 is slightly larger than the GH06. That's because the T8 has to accommodate 16 and a half pounds of payload compared to the 13 pounds of the GH06. Along those lines, the T8 has a larger diameter, beefier handle with a bigger rosette. Now this is really important because the skinnier handle and smaller rosette on the GH06 allows a little bit of flex, which I don't like at all. And so I end up having to crank it down quite a bit to minimize the flex. As where the T8, I just crank it down, not without a whole lot of effort, and it's rock solid. When it comes to leveling, both tripod heads use a 75 millimeter ball mount. The difference being is the GH06 uses a short stubby tie down as where the T8 uses a longer flare tie down. The T8's longer tie down is much easier to get access to. And considering that you level a tripod anywhere from a handful of times to a hundred times a day at least, that adds up. When it comes to pan and tilt performance, both heads excel. They have a resistance scale from zero to three. This allows me to do real precise moves or very fast moves and just stick the image without any backlash. That's great. The only thing I could fault the T8 in regards to pan and tilt is at its highest tilt setting, I wish it had a touch more resistance because it can take three and a half more pounds than the GH06. And so when I'm getting close to that capacity, I just feel a touch more resistance would really make it perfect. The GH06 goes from zero to six and can handle a capacity of about 13 pounds. As where the T8 goes from zero to eight and it can handle up to 16 and a half pounds. That's pretty significant. That's the difference between a bigger monitor or a heavier lens. Also, when you build taller builds, it's great to have that extra counterbalance. They both use a Manfrotto style 501 base plate system which is fantastic, so you can exchange it with other Manfrotto base plates. But the T8 uses a top-loading, spring-loaded side clamp system, as where the GH06 uses a slide-in system. While I like the T8's quick-release system in principle, it has one major flaw. It does not accept small rig or DJI 501-style base plates. DJI and the small rig base plates, they're about one to two millimeters not as wide. And because of that, the tie down knob on the T8 will not be able to clamp down on it properly. Not being able to take DJI or 
small rig 501 style base plates. Seems a bit of a bummer, but it's not a deal breaker. There's some quick workarounds. What I do is I attach the 501 base plate from the T8 to the bottom of a small rig quick release system and that solves everything. But it's just an extra piece of hardware you have to be aware that you need if you wanna swap on and off with say a gimbal or some gear that has small rig base plates, which is a lot. There's one other feature I forgot to mention about the SGC T8. Its level has a light built into it. This is the most convenient feature because when you have to level a camera in the dark, there's nothing better than a lighting level. So by now you're wondering, would I buy an SCG T8? Well, this is how I rate it. For build, I give it a nine of 10. For performance, I give it an eight of 10, and I would have scored it higher had it a bit more tilt resistance. For leveling, I give it a nine of 10, but its weak spot is its base plate QR system, which I give a six of 10. But you can solve this by buying a more compatible small rig quick release. For price to performance, I give it a 10 of 10, because at a little less than 600 bucks, you'll be hard pressed to find a better performing lightweight tripod head. So what does this mean for my GH06? Well, as of this moment, it's for sale. And on that note, happy shooting.